welcome back to my channel. It's me. And guys, today I am super excited because today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a GFX with the multiple people in the scene. I guess that's what it's called. So today you're going to learn how to make a GFX with you when your friend maybe you're baking or doing something. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to do is obviously use our base plate. If you don't have a base plate, press new, classic base plate, and it'll automatically load a new base plate. Now you're going to want to go and import your avatar. If you don't know how to do this, just go and go to the link in my description to already close pros load character plugin, go to plugins, and press load character. So you are going to want to type in two people's name or three people or however many people you want. Okay guys, so once I have both of the characters here, I'm going to want to export them. If you don't know how to export them, you're just gonna want to right click on their name in the explorer section and press export selection. Once I have exported them, I'm just going to delete them. Okay. Now I'm going to go and search up a room or anything like that. Just a model that you want. A place where you want your characters to hang out. In. Now that I have found the room model I want, I'm going to want to export it just the same as I did with my character. Now I'm going to want to open up Blender and set up my first character. If you don't know how to set up your GFX character, please go and look at my other video on how to make a GFX. There's two of them there and it will explain everything. set it up my character it's time to actually make the magic happen i'm going to want to select all the components on my character including everything that i can use to rotate and everything but i'm only going to want to do the body once i have that i'm going to want to click press command c or control c and go command or control V. To make this easier, I like to move the body away from the head, move over to the body so that I don't have anything in my way. I can always drag the body back after anyways. Now you have a perfect replica of your body. Now bring your body back onto your original body and make sure to delete all this extra stuff that is definitely not needed. Make sure everything's selected so you don't leave anything behind. That would be bad. Now you're going to want to go to the node editor but this time import your second character's image texture and also import your second character's body. And do the same steps as you would for your uh, for as normal. Now you're going to want to import your room model. for the fun part but sometimes the most time consuming part now get your character make sure set origin has been turned to has been turned to origin to geometry go to pose mode and start 
posing. So I have finished posing my characters here in the cafe. So now it is the fun part and my favorite part. It's time for the magic to happen. So we're going to go back to object mode and we're going to add a camera by pressing add camera and then view camera. So now that everything is ready, I'm going to go to the world icon click ambient occlusion, go to the render layer, click denoising, make sure I like the way it looks. It's okay if there's a little bit of grain because it'll all just go away. And since I don't want gray in my background, I'm going to go back to material and I kind of just want like a little sky background. So I'm going to exit out of the camera by just pressing view camera. I'm going to go to create, add prime fate, mesh plane and there should be a plane mesh right here now i'm going to go to this little scaling tool and scale up by using these little things right here so once i have it like this i want to make it blue as the sky so i'm just going to go over to this little circle right here press new and go down to color and change the color and just make sure I can't see any more gray. It's okay if you see black, but we can't see gray. So now we're going to want to go into the rendered again and just make sure everything looks perfect. I like how it looks. I'm going to go to the camera and press render. Here's the final result of my GFX, and I think it looks so, 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 so good. To save your image, make sure you press image, and then save as image, and then save it to anywhere on your computer. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel because it's free, and I'll see you guys next time.